Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger with another wind power video. Today is Saturday the 10th of January and the time now is 11.30pm. This is just a follow on video from the last video. This is 24 hours later from yesterday when I said when you saw the video of the very windy weather outside and the button 504 spinning like crazy so this is 24 hours later and I have some very good readings on the meter to show you as you can see it's still blowing it well outside the green light on the charge controller is coming on you can see that we're pulling in some watts at the moment it's not as windy as it was before so this is the these are the figures for the last 24 hours so as you can see we peaked at 45 watts, yep, that is 45 watts from the Rutland 504. That was a current of 3.23 amps peak. And we have produced 3.57 amp hours and 42.2 watt hours. These are the highest figures I've ever seen from the Rutland 504. I told you in yesterday's video that it was very windy and it was very windy all day long so that was good conditions for testing the Rutland 504 so whatever I was I was getting out at the time I'm thinking that's the the most I'm going to see out of it under normal conditions and the normal windy conditions so that's 45 watts. This turbine is a 50 watt rated turbine. So that's 45 watts is not bad out of the potential 50. Now the manufacturer claims that you can get up to 80 watts output from the turbine if you have a 30 or 40 knot wind. That is a crazy amount of wind. And I'm thinking that if you ever have 30 or 40 knots of wind, then you're going to have severe damage outside. So, I'm going to say that it's a 50 watt turbine. And yesterday, or last night, I got 45 watts out of it, which was 3.23 amps. So that's about the best I think I, I can do out of that turbine. Now, despite that, we only produced just over 40 watt hours in a 24 hour period from a turbine that cost approximately £300 and this charge controller was another £70 so that's a lot of money. Today from the solar panels we peaked at 71.4 watts that was a peak current of 1.94 amps we produced 4.7 amp hours but 189 189.6 watt hours out of two solar panels that cost about 80, between 80 and 90 pounds each so, for 160 170 pounds, I got a lot, lot more power from the solar panels. So, they are more cost effective. That's my view. So, my current battery voltage is 12.73 watts. And today I have gone through 141.9 watt hours. I will admit that I was out for most of the day and that all the load was turned off. So that's that. So 
this turbine is a 50 watt turbine and it's supposed to be able to charge up a 100 amp hour battery that is the rating of it from the manufacturer it is supposed to charge a 100 amp hour battery so I am trying to charge a bank of 300 amp hours so I with that rating in mind I would need a turbine with three times the power rating so I'm thinking that it's that it's showing that it's way underpowered but that's partly my fault because <laughs> I bought a small turbine so but there you go this is the button 504 with some real life figures on it so I've noticed I've been on YouTube and there are not many videos about the Rutland 504 wind charger there's some that are under a minute long but I am rectifying this I am putting lots of videos on YouTube about the Marlick Rutland 504 wind turbine and I am telling you about my real life experiences with it so, so that's why I'm producing these videos so 45 watts I've had out of it it's rated at 50 watts under normal operating conditions although having said that normal operating conditions would be in a wide open space away from buildings and trees which I'm not, I'm in a built up area in ideal condition your turbine would be more than 10 feet off the ground so in ideal conditions you should do a lot better it is actually designed to go on a boat so on the water you'd have plenty of open space it's normally windier around water so that would go in its favour so I'm operating in less than favourable conditions and to be truthful it is only rated to charge one third of the amp hour capacity of my battery bank so that's probably not being fair to it I really should be using a turbine like the Rutland 913 which is rated by the manufacturer up to 300 watts so that would be more appropriate to the battery bank I have and it would probably charge it better so that's how it is I'm still looking at eBay to buy a Rutland 913 although I've not found any at a reasonable cost yet so this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching and until next time goodbye thank you